Welcome to I'm Out Traveling. My name is Raul and in this video we're going to take you to St. Augustine, Florida. Disclosure, this video was recorded a month prior to COVID-19 so you're going to notice a lot of people not wearing masks. It's because of that. But not to worry, you're still going to see the same great sights and fun activities. Just be prepared to wear a mask. If you haven't planned out your day just yet, I highly recommend you make your way over to the visitor center. Not only will you be able to map out your day, but you'll also be able to know what time things are happening and the pricing, such as the firing of the cannons of the Castillo San Marcos. St. Augustine is easily a walkable city, but if you like to take a break from all the walking, especially in the summer, and learn about the history, either take the Red Train Trolley or the Old Town Trolley. The St. George Inn. The prices vary based on if you get a balcony view of St. George Street or interior terraces, but whichever route you go, you won't be disappointed. We opted in for the balcony view of St. George Street. The rooms themselves were cozy, not modern at all, but that's the purpose, to give you a small town feel. All right guys, so we're here in historic St. Augustine and we rented a room at the St. George Inn. We're about to show you the tour of the room and the views. These are the original city gates. Let's take a walk down St. George Street where you'll find craft shops, restaurants, ice cream stands, and more ice cream stands, which I don't mind. Close to the St. George Inn is where you'll find the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the United States. The school itself was built sometime before 1763. During the first Spanish period. Very good, Johnny. The school is built of cypress and cedar with handmade nails and wooden pegs. This is the oldest wooden structure in St. Augustine, and it has never been reconstructed. Our clothing is of that period. We was dressed this way in 1931 by graduates of the class of 1864 during the class reunion. That's right, Johnny. Uh, they also decorated this little school the way they remembered it when they were here. As a matter of fact, on the back wall, there are some photographs of the class taken at that reunion and the class rolled. Sometimes the children are unruly in class, then they must spend time under the stairway there until they decide to behave. We call it the dungeon. We're graduates of the oldest wooden school. Right now we're walking down St. George Street in the heart of St. Augustine, where you'll find a lot of little shops and restaurants. Right now we just got done touring the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the United States, and we're gonna go check out the Pirate Museum. St. Augustine, Lorena went to run some errands and I stumbled upon this lady, my grandmother. 
Hi. Hi. Hola. 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 All right. She has no idea what's going on. She thinks this is a family video. It's all good. We're about to check out Pizza Time, which is ranked the number two best pizza in the United States. So let's see exactly if it's true or not. La segunda pizza mejor en los Estados Unidos, so, vamos a ver. La segunda. La segunda mejor en los Estados Unidos. ¿Cuál es la primera? No sé, vamos a ver. The second best pizza in the United States. Let's see about that. Mmm. 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 So qué pensaste? Que la ollena es riquísima. She pretty much said she's filled and she loved it. Que te estaba llena y estaba rica. Sí. Yeah, she agrees. She's stuffed and she loved the pizza. Ya no puedo ni caminar. She can't even walk now. So now, vamos por helado. Huh? Yeah, I just told her we're gonna get some ice cream. I don't think she likes that idea. ¿Quieres helado, sí o no? She, she's not down for ice cream, but I will. Sí. Yeah. Wanna get tacos? ¿Tiene tacos también? No. No, she don't want to get tacos either. I'm going to get ice cream. She's not going to get ice cream. She'll just watch me. There. Where are we going to go for ice cream? Let's see. We're here in Kilwins and I wish you guys could smell this. It smells delicious. Here we are trying some Kilwins ice cream. I mean, she got the pistachio. Pistachio is riquísimo. She loves it. And this is a key lime and toasted coconut. Mm. Very good, very good. Very good. Here in St. Augustine, all you gotta do is just grab a bench, some ice cream, and relax, enjoy the scenery, the people walking, and just people watch. So we just entered the Fountain of Youth. And the first thing he's going to see is going to see this uh, Ponce Leon, and then Mira esto huele. Por España, fuego! How many pounds does it weigh? That's a little over six pounds. Six pounds. About half the weight of a shot foot. You can also come here and check out this archaeological dig site where you can find gold coins, silver coins, shark teeth. So let's see if we find any uh, gold coins or silver coins here. That's really what I care about right now. Let's see. Huh? Got our shark teeth. I'll take it. As you walk the grounds of the Fountain of Youth, you're gonna see a whole bunch of little peacocks right there. And there's a white one. I've never seen a white one before. Look at that, beautiful. One right behind me. They've definitely come out to play because they weren't here earlier. So I don't know if they released them or they were just hanging out somewhere else, but look at that. Beautiful. Look at this guy, or girl, for sure.
not gonna lie it's pretty cool all this for 16 15 dollars whatever it costs to come here it's not a bad deal Welcome to Castillo de San Marcos, the most recognizable landmark here in St. Augustine and your first look at what life was like here centuries ago. I could be from any country in Europe. I'm wearing one thing that says I'm Spanish. What do you think that is? Without that, I could be English, French, German, anything. The feather. Nope. The hat. Nope. The, uh, the armband? Very good. Yes. We're color coded. Take my right foot, it's my best foot, it's forward to you. I take my hat off and I bow. You, yeah, perfect. Gracias, thank you. Placer. Uh, all right. Okay. So I'm standing between two former hotels, the former Ponce de Leon's Hotel, which is now Flagler College, and the former Alcazar Hotel, which is now City Hall and the Lightning Museum. Flagler College, built in 1888 as a luxurious hotel, it now stands as a private liberal arts college. Lightning Museum, what was once known as a hotel for the wealthy with its steam room, massage parlor, sulfur baths, gymnasium, a three-story ballroom, and the world's largest indoor swimming pool is now home to a collection of rare antiques. Till this day, people still rent out the Lightning Museum to hold their weddings. I've personally catered and planned a few of them myself. The Cathedral Basilica of St. Augustine. This place holds a special place in our hearts. Not only was it America's first parish and the first Catholic church in St. Augustine, but it was where my wife and I got married at back in 2015. Brings back memories. This is where we got married at? 2015. And lastly, the St. Augustine Lighthouse, 219 steps to the top, but trust me, the views are worth it. Definitely a must when visiting St. Augustine. All right, so we're about to start the lighthouse and going 219 steps up to the top. Here we go. Stop. That took my breath out. Man. Whew. But look at the views. Look at that. And that's a wrap from St. Augustine. We stayed at the St. George Inn, walked St. George Street, toured the Fountain of Youth and the Prior Museum, went to Mass at the Basilica de St. Augustine, explored the Castillo San Marcos, ate at America's number two pizza spot, Pizza Time, had ice cream two times, went to a Flagler College and the Lightning Museum. 
All in all, it's been an amazing past couple of days spent in St. Augustine, the nation's oldest city. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Do me a favor, hit like and smash that penguin. And also don't forget to wear that mask.